Good morning. It is 4.04. I slept amazing. Um, I guess yesterday was a day of love. I, uh, I decided that... Not that, that, that I decided that's just where my heart was. I was uh, focused on my future, as why should I be focused on my past? It is over my past. Um. The bird told me so. So my keyboard ha has a, a couple bird, um, I guess, filters, settings. So I decided to have a little fun with the birds. But I, I, I was walking and The whole story there is true. I mean, uh, I know I know where I'm looking, and it's it's not at anyone in the past. That's for sure. They don't deserve me anyway. They. Uh, I mean, in reality, is anybody that is famous at the moment, who will probably not be as famous anymore, um, are they really worth me? No, nobody deserves me, worth me. Are they really deserving of me? I don't think so. Why would they be? What have they done to show me that? And really, what have they done for this world? They made movies. They sang songs. They created toxicity. And choose to stay in it. And yet, think I'm going to be running towards them. Why the hell would I run towards anybody? That will not happen. When you're focused ahead, nothing's looking that way. And I believe that God created me a person. It was perfect for me. He, he knew that every opportunity that was given to these other people through me, they wouldn't take because that's how much they appreciated God for everything that he did for them in their lives. He knew that. Yet, he, he still allowed them the opportunity, and they made their decision. They chose toxicity. So, I'm focused on a person that the world has never met, as the world has never met me. And together, we will be discovered as one. That just seems more fair to another in individual that the world has not known yet. Because there's another person out there that's just as 
deserving as I am to get what they wanted in life, but was never given the opportunity because of this horrible world that we live in. And I felt a deep connection to a soul that I never seen an image of a face. That I felt through music. And a lot of people would say, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, you're not me. Your soul is not as enhanced as mine is. Your mentality is not as enhanced as mine is. Keep all your books smart. Like, have it all. You're very intelligent. Yet you're not intelligent in, in any way. So, you be intelligent in your way and I'll be intelligent in my way. I'd rather have my intelligence. No. Nothing against your intelligence, just it's not really useful for my my situation and my future. It's perfect for the Matrix. They will love you. And Love of my life. I really like that song. I got to say, it, it was very dynamic. And it is the absolute truth of my whole story. When you try your hardest, absolute hardest, put everything into it every day of your life and you can never get anywhere. And you didn't give up. You question life. I've questioned life my whole life. And then I wrote a song. It was called No Motive when I wrote it when I was 16, which turned into Exultant, where I asked God for all, all the answers. Why? Why? Why is this? Why is that? And bit by bit, I, I'd get a little answer here and there. And, and now I'm getting them all. The world was owned by the devil. And they knew I was of God my whole life. And would abuse me for their power, confirmation. And then one day I took all my power back. <laughs> and the only way to try and get their power back was through intimidation with cute little suits. But I think their suits are cute, so why would I be intimidated by people in cute little suits and walking pieces of shit when I flush pieces of shit down the toilet? I don't know what they do with them. Let me go get a coffee. So I will never, ever give any of my power back to any demon turd as I 
work for God. And I'm going to keep all my power for God and his kingdom and his people. They just seem like better people. Are they family and friends? What is family and friends? I don't I don't understand those words anymore. I thought they were supposed to be about love, compassion, um, respect. I never got any of those. So why do I need those people in, in, in my life? I don't. Gone. Don't need them. I'm creating a whole new life f f for myself because I believe that the life I knew was a life I had to endure to help this world. <laughs> and because of their actions, because of their treatment of me, whether they want to see it or not, they don't have to see it. Again, I observe everything in life. That is my, I wouldn't call it a curse, but maybe. That is my power. The observation of everything. And once I realized that they were gaining everything for, for, from me and I was gaining nothing from their, them, literally nothing. They just want to keep me stuck and trapped and try to rape me of my mind, gifts, finances. And then I write a song called 2NB, Two New Beginnings, about I'm going to take the lead and save he humanity because no one else wants to. And then magically everyone else cares about the world enough to help their finances, not to help the world, just pretends to care and st sticks me in a box and hides me away. Well, I don't stay in boxes. I break out of them and I take over the world. And that's what I will be doing. So. That's what that song is about. My entire life came down to a choice. Stay st stuck in the past with people that I know will truly never change and are too afraid. I'm not afraid in any way. They're too afraid to be true and honest. They, 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 they can't even admit to what they've done. And they don't need to admit it to me. They need to admit it to authorities. But what are authorities? Meaningless. Authorities are meaningless. They're just part of it all. World leaders, meaningless. In my life, they're meaningless. In everyone else's lives, they're, oh, we, we gotta be afraid. But I'm one with God. They're powerless. World leaders are powerless, especially against me. And they know it. And God is taking over this world and things are going to change. We've come to the point in our history and this history will actually be, be taught maybe one day in school, unlike real history. Fake history is being taught out there, not real history. So...
I needed to, to, to do this for the world going forward. Not for myself. Not for money. So that no kid, no person in general, would ever have to go through and endure what I had to in my life. And my friends and family would say, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. Because you're incapable of telling the truth. Uncapable. <laughs> that word will be changed. Doesn't make any sense. Incapable. Uncapable of, of telling the truth. Because they're absorbed with the devil. Confirmation. They're false people living in a false world that are trapped in a mindset because they've lived it their whole lives. They were raised a certain way. And I was probably not because they didn't want to, they didn't want me to ever find any of this out, confirmation. weird how you're raised in the same household around the same people and you have a, a brother or a sister who is nothing like you in any way and you begin thinking how are we so different Again, very book smart, that one. Very book smart. Street smart? Fucking moron. Absolute moron. So I would try to help him with that. Would he try to help me with book smarts? No. Why would he do that? <laughs> they wanted to keep me as dumb as possible. Confirmation. Um, the bottom line is I, I I had a mission whether I wanted to realize that or not at one point I was miserable getting way too abused every day and didn't understand it and then one day I did and I wasn't going to let anyone else talk me out of it and I wasn't going to let any, anyone else conquer me if my path was to pass away from doing what I felt I needed to, to do for this world and God, then that was the way it was going to be. I wasn't afraid to die. Listen to the song Fate. Not afraid to die. When you're already dead inside, why are you afraid to die? That's what this world did. It killed me inside. And day by day, Seeds grew. The world got brighter. Trees grew. Birds started flying around. Love was always there. Clearly, because I cared enough about this world to give up everything. And all I asked for in return was love. Sure, I'm writing a lot of music. Big confirmation there. Sure, I'm writing a lot, of, a lot of, of music, which is also a thing I love very dear. But 
that's my journal. That's my story. That's my timeline. And nobody will conquer me. God chose me. I think he made a wise choice. And I will never allow anyone or anything to stand in his way. That's my mindset. I don't know what your mind mindset is. But that's my mind, my mindset. Wow, that was hard to say. I couldn't even get that out. So, I felt this soul throughout that whole song. And Truly, that would mean more to me than billions of dollars to be loved in a way that was unconditional and eternal. Because I don't b believe I was ever truly loved by anyone. And the world gave me no reason to believe that. There's many songs that you haven't heard that I've written in my past that could really hurt a lot of feelings, a lot more than anything I've ever, I've ever put out. And it was just a little kid observing the treatment of others and then the treatment of himself. Same surroundings, but how one is treated and how the other is. And I really don't know what is being talked about me and my reputation, nor do I, do I give a fuck. It doesn't fucking matter anymore. I don't need to answer to anybody about what, what or who I am. I know exactly who I, want, I am. I know exactly what I've done in this life and anything I've done, I will own up to. I am not ashamed of anything. Clearly, I'm not ashamed of anything. And why should I be ashamed of anything? I love myself. I respect myself enough to be honest with this world. So much so that they have nothing on me to hold me to anything. Do you not want my love? I don't know. Does anybody want it? No? Well, God does, and that's all that matters. And he created me this wonderful person that I will meet very soon. Confirmation. Because anybody I've met previous is truly not worthy of me they don't deserve me they deserve whatever toxic connection that they're involved in right law of attraction you're fucking toxic that's what you're getting girl fucking toxic enjoy enjoy your toxicity love it Get dumped by it. Perfect. Beautiful. It's what you deserve. You don't deserve me. I'll tell you that much. None of you. Not all the work I've done. Not all the love I put out into this world where you whether you think it's love or not, I help you every fucking day. I give you a pulse like no other. Whether it's good or bad, your fucking heart's pumping, man. I know that.
great line that just I wasn't expected to hear. When you've endured so much, it makes you laugh. I don't, I don't get sad. That's the thing. I don't get s s sad anymore in any fucking way. I'm, I'm incapable of sadness. Imagine that. A world that broke you that bad that you're incapable of sadness. Thank you, world. And that's what God wanted of, for me. And I think he made a wise choice. He pulverized me, guys. Pulverized me. And you complain about little things here and there. Why, God, why? <sighs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Matrix. World of complainers. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, now, now with your instant karma, now you'll see. Now, now he'll, he might treat you the same as he treated me. <laughs> but he treated you so poorly. Yeah. To help the world. And I totally understand it. And that's why we are bros. Um, but yeah, the devil's done. He is fucking weak, and so is everybody aligned with him. Well, I don't know if they're aligned. They're kind of like dangling off his strings. The puppet master. Um... Yeah, God's going to give me the love of, of my life and that factory bitch is going to love the shit out of me. I'll tell you that much. And I'll uh, m mirror that right back to her. That's for sure. And there was th three guitars used on that song, Love of My Life, and none of them were a Les Paul. And it turned out okay. Total cost of those three guitars, $1,500. Still couldn't even afford a, a Les Paul if I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Those three guitars, all amazing guitars. And with the money that I, I paid for those three, I still couldn't afford a Les Paul. Oh, well. Who wants it? Not me. <laughs> Fucking Les Pauls. <laughs> so overrated. Just like the Matrix and everybody in the Matrix. Uh... Anyway, love my life. I can't wait to meet you. And uh, we'll just end it at that. God uh, appreciates what I do. And God appreciates you enough to be with me. And... We're going to make that happen. Take care. Love you guys. And I love you, factory bitch. <laughs>